there's really nobody even using digital that much. Okay, well, let's see. It's like a, a horse, but everybody had horses. Then they put cars, and they put all the blacksmiths out of business. Then you got to learn how to fix a car. And then, uh, well, a horse had a house, a barn. Now our company is a house, a, a garage. And then they fill it with crap, and then you got to park in the street and get in everybody's way. But anyway, <laughs> on and on. Uh, I don't really care for digital. The, the few things I've experienced with digital, uh, even the phone systems, I have to uh, put it on, uh, record a phone call a few times, and listen to about 10 or 20 times before I could understand what was going on. I think it was a small uh, phone interchange uh, in Vermont, but I don't really care for digital, and uh, I'll let everybody know that. Yeah, I, I don't really care for it that much either. Uh, everybody, I, I, I went to like four or five different club meetings, and that's all they talked about was fusion this, fusion that, fusion the other thing, and you know, as I scanned uh, the repeaters, I'm hardly hearing any digital going off anywhere, um, so I don't know what the big deal was, I think it's just kind of something that kind of passed away, or unless it's, they're waiting for it to come way down in price. Who knows? Well, you know, the prices aren't that bad, uh, I guess. Uh, compared to years ago, even with the inflation, the cost of radio, especially with those those Chinese radios, or whoever makes them, Jeez, <laughs> they're inexpensive. But I'll be darned if I can figure out how to how to program one of those. Uh, well, the first one I had, I, I could program the frequency, but it wouldn't stay in memory or some stupid thing. But uh, anyway, somebody could make a living just programming radios these days. Then one QOV. KB. Um, I just use Chirp on mine. Can program can program my bow things from Chirp, but yeah, you know, seventy that HF seventy three hundred Icom came out. Everybody's looking to get that. That's fifteen hundred dollars, two two grand, something like that. So, and now you know, you got the Fusion radios out. And the the good Fusion ones are four five hundred dollars. And you know, and, and like I said, people could have went to DMR. And everybody can pick up a DMR radio for 150, 200 bucks, but they want to go fusion for 500 dollars repeaters and 400 dollars radios. I guess that's what uh, digital sounds like. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I got 1500 dollars radios. They're just sitting in the closet and not being used. Backups in case the. Uh, uh, the the ones I have go down. We always have a backup. And one Q O V mobile. V A one Z H M. That was my version of a chirp. Okay, that's what that is. That's right. That is. Now we know what it sounds like. Uh, you know, Sean, uh, there was somewhere on the internet somebody put out all all the stupid uh, digital and whatever uh, sounds you could hear. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, what do they call it? Anyway, a bunch of the different sounds, even uh, bouncing off the meteors and all that noise. I have to find that someday. That was pretty interesting. And good evening, Chad. Uh, good evening to you, old timer. And uh, chirp. Yeah, well, I have chirp on my computer, but I don't even I don't have the cable, <laughs> and I didn't get it intentionally because I really don't want it. I wanted to learn how to program it by hand and be able to do it on site, in the woods, wherever, without having to rely on a computer. Because you may not always have a computer. So that was my logic in that. Over to, huh, who was that? K1F. I don't know who that is. Talking about me, it's Kilo Delta 2, Jumping Kangaroo Veteran. I, I don't like that uh, jumping kangaroo veteran. Well, yeah, I do kind of, but I heard you guys playing. I'm a veteran, too. And uh, you're a little bit later than me. I was in 1962. Actually, I didn't make NAM until 65. But uh, there you go. That's a story on me. I guess we're both veterans, right? Yes. You and Nam and me from uh, Desert Storm.
Storm 1. Yeah, so I assume that because your voice and your age, you know, you sound like your age. And There you go. I'll give you about 32. Um, try 50. Come on. 1966. Wow. Try 70. 1945. See, I was going to say like 44. Come on. Thank you. Obi sounds like about 97. No, just kidding, Obi. He is 97. Hey, what did I say on Facebook? You know, uh, something, uh, Jason made a thing for you? Yeah, Jason made my logo, which, uh, you know, he has, we were playing around trying to figure out something for the JKV, and he came up with Jumping Kangaroo Veteran, so he made a logo for it. Um, it's up on the, uh, Zello, and it's up on my Facebook page and my QRZ page. Well, I had a military thing with it, too, right? He's got a kangaroo in camouflage with an AK-47. Well, he had a, 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 an outfit number or something. Yeah, 101st Airborne, 1st first, first Armored Battalion. Okay. Have your coffee. I'll be right there. Or your gas. I'll be right there. Um, well, they're, they're hardly interchangeable, so uh, I hope it's... Uh, uh, why an AK-47? Because I, I, I want a bad beep, um, kangaroo, and the, M, the M16A1s just weren't bad enough. But if you're in a firefight and you're using an AK, man, you're in big trouble. It, it, it looks cool. Well, yeah, Obi's right. We have a... A hatred for an AK-47, believe it or not. Probably the best gun in the world, but we... Us Vietnam vets hate them. So we were, we were there, we had, what, the M-15A1s. Um, not exactly the best thing in the world. Well, when I went through boot camp, we had M-1s. Uh, M-1s. M-1s. Grand. Yeah, ours is... Semi-automatic, um, I mean, 15 rounds, not not the best things to be roaming around with. My, my deal weapon was an M60, but there you go. Spoke with fork and tongue. My ideal weapon was an Abrams. <laughs> they didn't even have those. I used to work on them though here in Pittsfield at the General Dynamics. Not Abrams, but uh, Bradley's. We did the uh, turret stabilization uh, systems for them. We got to play with them. Nobody knows that. Yeah, you gotta love those 50 cows on them. Oh, yeah. I, I like 50 caliber, it's my favorite gun. I have one, a Magnum, and uh, I like it. I was practicing with it down at the Smith & Wesson Academy, and they stopped me because I was punching holes through their deflector shield. Um, it's funny in my time because I was actually in communications for them, so it was, you know, we didn't really, we were sitting in the, in the headquarters FOB, um, and just, you know, playing on the, playing on the radios while everybody else was out doing their thing, so I figured the kangaroo would look cool with a gun instead of a radio. Oh yeah, I'm not putting it down. Yes, I got I got I'll have to get, check it out and see what it looks like. It's probably pretty cute. But, um, Obi knows what I'm talking about. The, uh, the enemy, uh, that was their choice weapon. And we would hear that. It has a distinctive sound, of course, you know that. Uh, so, but I did pooping and scooping. I was out in the jungle on my own. I was a sniper scout, USMC. Yeah, I was, I was in the FOBs, uh, sending communications.
communications back and forth from the field to DOD. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 1, this is Whiskey Lima 2. <laughs> yeah, it was an operation. Starlight. You can remember that, OB. Do you remember hearing about Operation Starlight? That was before your time. Um, I've heard of it. I haven't heard the details about it. Hello, Starlight Scope. I just got back. Oh, okay. Well, I've been eluding to you, and you haven't even been there. That's what happens when you get old. So I just got to get yes, kill, whatever. But no, nobody listens to me, especially women. It's a good thing.
and East Coast put uh, pictures of food on their uh, web website. And everybody goes blockers. What's up with that? Videos. Always checking them out, Obi. <laughs>
KC1, FLN, listening. I'm kind of here, loosely, to be able to that agent. Trying to, uh, you know, carry on a conversation with a few guests I have. May already be a winner. KC one, FLN listening. <laughs> Bunch of uh, great people here on nine one K one F 